With this video I'm gonna explain how to use Picky2 programmer with FF device, how to read data and how to export data to Excel. So I have a programmer's icon here. I'm gonna click on it. Nothing is connected. So Picky2 program starts here. Uh, as you can see no device found, Picky2 connected. So I have here file, import hex and blah 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 device family programmer you can see what's checked here tools fast programming uh, also this is usually always set uh, target voltage source auto detect so what I'll do first device family I'll select DSPIC 30 now everything is preset here for this kind of chip it's time to connect the FF with programmer at the forum support section how to hold the programmer for easier programming there is brief explanation uh, so it says here when programming FF place it on the table hold the programmer is on the picture four fingers at bottom and thumb is on the top you can see that my hand has support on the table so it doesn't move contact pins touching pads at about 30 degree angle from the table make sure all five pins are in line with same length so it's meaning this five one pin is not longer they about same length you put them on flat surface and straighten them up if you need to in ten attempts I get maybe one zero probably even less I believe this may help some who has worst results so that's basically how you connect uh, big it and the FF once you connect the picket with the FF, all you need to do to read data is press here read. In this case I didn't connect it so it tells me the device is not detected. No matter what I do, it's not showing. So I'm gonna connect it now. Press read. There's good connection. The program is reading. And here we go, we have here in main window we have a program and then at the bottom we have EEPROM data uh, that's what FF saves about your previous settings so uh, I could for example disable this and then read just the EEPROM or I can disable this and then just read the program so you can do as you wish uh, then now I can click file and then export hex and then ask me to save it somewhere on my computer I'm not gonna save now uh, on the same way I can import program file import hex download new program from forum and then uh, if you want to upgrade your your FF uh, if you import program then your program would be here and then you would click on write that's all you need to do but uh, <coughs> now I'm gonna explain how to take this data from uh, EEPROM window and how to export it to Excel so I click on it I click uh, right mouse button and then select all click again right mouse button and copy now I'm gonna put the Excel file um, which is suitable for this revision and then here it says after reading EEPROM with PICI2 right click on the EEPROM data window and select all then right click again and select copy that's what we did in this document right mouse click on cell B4 yellow and under paste option click paste special so don't just copy uh, you must paste, uh, paste special so I click here I click paste special and in depends of which, which version here say match destination formatting that's on my different computer I had a new uh, Excel this is with old I just select text and then I click OK so that's my data from the from the picky 2 window and uh, now you cannot see I'm gonna move this uh, no, not like that. Oops, I'm gonna move like this. Here I have a.
chart of the spins they are recorded how they, are, they look um, then if I go down I have data about what I was predicting last time uh, ball two rotations clocked ball time and uh, rotor time and the offsets which were set autoplay was enabled uh, half rotor clocking was not used and then here uh, there are some data what system used in the calculation system selected to use um, sample 4 and rotation 7 that's where I was predicting 7 rotations so sample 4 and rotation 7 that's where system were predicting so what else is here just ah, there are also uh, like charts uh, if you editing uh, uh, scatter charts here or if you just playing in autoplay which I was like practicing something with this when I set it see what will happen and uh, you see here data is not like it could be mistakes here like this red line here so I can maybe make this one larger so you can see better and uh, if I click on that red line it's showing I put mouse the 11 one value 1181 so it's it's actually in this line 1181 so it's this one I click on that it shows me from where this data is coming it's actually coming from this chart so I can click oops I shouldn't I could control Z oops control Z yeah so I click here and then it shows me where on my copied data is that coming from oh, is not showing me oops so where we stopped I here so if I click here I, it shows me where where the data is it's uh, in hexadecimal it's 4049d um, it's in uh, row 040 so if I move this and go here 40 uh, 049 d so I can now edit this one I can put 0 uh, I don't know uh, 9 after 9 it goes A and then let's say 5 0, 4, A, 5 so now that data will go up of course in the Excel you can experiment with that and then uh, now I can connect the device and I can program it so what else to say as you can also see here that this is sample in setups there is direction there is diamond so if for example I want to disable this pin so it, it's not gonna play what is required is to change direction let's, or diamond to some funny number uh, not actually diamond but the direction let's say I can put 9 here instead of 2 there are only 1 and 2 directions so when system is searching if it finds 9 it will not use it so if I click here it shows me on this part here where where that uh, data is so it's in, in a row 50 second last and then uh, I can move this so 40 50 second last it's 2 so I can change 2 to let's say 9 so this pin will not be used now I can connect the picket and the FF and I can program it. In usual if you uh, add for example 20 milliseconds to this number then you should deduct 20 around that number so if one rotation is longer than some rotations around it should be short. And another point is if you don't use this one, if you don't read you may have after editing this you may have problem uh, programming it so you first maybe need to import a program and then uh, without this 